What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Oh, damn, it's Professor Sycamore. I am Augustine Sycamore, the Kalos region's very own Pokemon professor. <laughs> this world of ours is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. These mysterious creatures can be found in every corner of our world. Some run across plains, others fly through the skies, and others swim deep in the ocean. We live together with these Pokemon, lending our strength to one another to live and prosper. Let's get started with a few questions. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Well, it's pretty simple, guys. You can hear the bassy voice and all that stuff, the manly man voice and all that crud. And yes, I am a man. But if you guys can see right here, the, the female, she... By far, the most beautiful one. And I guess every single one of you guys can agree that in the anime, she is the best partner for Ash. Potential girlfriend and all that stuff. But that's whatever. That's whatever. Let's go ahead and talk about us. Let's go and choose ourselves. And, uh, well, the best thing about Pokemon X and Y, when, we, when it all started, it was that it gave you the option of, you know, giving you hair color, eye color, and skin tone. And, well, you guys probably already saw me a few times. Yes. I am a, a nice caramel color right there. Beautiful caramel color and all that stuff. Oh, I see. Well, tell me your name. Well, you already know the name. It's me. It's me. It's GLD. It's the badass I was draven. Alrighty. Okay. Alright. Look at that. Spelling my name all crud. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Spelling my name. I'm very excited, guys. Lots of words and everything. And whoa. Look at that. So it's driven then. Then I... Did I get that right? Yes, you did. Throwing out the yes sign and all that stuff. Draven, Draven, what a fantastic name! Draven, your adventure begins now. You are about to enter a new uh, region, yada yada yada. Meet new Pokemon and people. Now let's go visit the world of Pokemon. Okay, guys, so that was a little bit of a small transition because, yes, for wireless uh, capture cards and all that stuff, you do need the internet for Pokemon games specifically. I don't know why. But, yes, guys, welcome to the very first episode of my Pokemon X walkthrough. And, yes, it is my birthday week. Eh, it's July 10th when this gets posted up and all that stuff. And if any of you guys are wondering, how old am I turning? Well, eh, it's already happened. What's well, about to happen? My last day today, July 10th. I'm crying about this. I'm just playing. Yeah, I'm turning 30, guys. The dirty 30, and I'm about to have fun. And yeah, well, me scheduling all this, uh, all these walkthrough videos on these days is giving me time to, you know, go celebrate this, forget about it, and then act like an adult and all that stuff. Anywho, look at that. We're in our room right now, and the graphics here are just like. Well, the graphics didn't change or anything like that. Now, first thing is first, guys. This is the very, 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 very first recording on my new laptop right here. And, oh, God, look, I'm loving it. Everything's at 100%. I'm hoping that there's no lagginess or anything like that. Now, what you got to do is look at yourself in the mirror. And, yes, we're looking like stud muffins right there. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Look at that. Stud muffin, if, if I haven't seen one. And changed out of his pajamas. Okay, so we're good right here. So all we gotta do now is we gotta go downstairs and meet our mama. And uh, would you look at that? It's mama. How you doing, mom? Morning, Draven. You sure slept well. All rested up from the move? Are we always moving or something like that? It's about time you got going. Why don't you go step outside and say hello to the neighbors? Hmm, you don't say. Okay, neighbors. We got neighbors? The hell? Now, fun fact. Pokemon X and Y finally gave my mom a room right here. Hold on. I, I'm going to kick your ass later on right here. But look at this. They finally gave my mom a room. So, I guess this is great. This is awesome. Now, if they can only add a dad every so often, then that would be great. That would be really, really great. So now, stepping outside right here. Hmm. What do we see? 
two beautiful young ladies right here. Mm, 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 mm. The girlfriends. You see, guys, very popular with the ladies right here in the virtual world and stuff. Real world is a different story. Welcome to Vanneville Town. My name is Serena. I'm your neighbor. And I'm Shauna. Great to meet you. Guess what? We've got to get to you. The esteemed Professor uh, Sycamore lives here in, Cal in the Kalos region. I was told he, he has a request for five kids, including us. But I'm a, I'm a little surprised that he knows who you are. You did just move to Vanneville, after all. We'll wait, uh, we'll wait for you in the next town over. And you know what? We're going to get a Pokemon. Come on, hurry! Let's go. Well, we gotta find the girlfriends and all that stuff. Look at that. They're running. Okay, so the first mission right here. Go get the new Pokemon and all that stuff. And look at that. We got a Rhyhorn. Mom has a Rhyhorn. That is pretty awesome. Could it be foreshadowing something uh, awesome for my mom? I don't know. Okay, so let's go straight to the next town and look at that. The thumbnail. Yeah, buddy. Vanneville Pathway. And here we are. Route or Upper Chord Town. And we're getting yelled at. Hey, Draven. This way. Over here. Just talking about you. Come on, have a seat. All right. Okay, so the Power Rangers has a, have assembled right here. This is the meeting place, Draven. Here, let me introduce you. Everyone, this is Draven. Wow, Shauna's de description was spot on. So, Draven, this is Tierno. He's got some serious dance moves, and this is Trevor. He never misses a single question on his test, but he's a little shy. All right, nice to meet you. You know, I'd feel a little, uh, I'd feel like we're a, l a closer crew if we all call each other by our by nicknames. Can I call you D Meister? The hell? What? No way! He's a Lil D for sure. Really? Really? You just met me and you're calling me Lil D? Oh god, that is not appropriate for, uh, well, for everybody right here. What do you think, Trevor? Oh damn, he's, uh, he's putting it on the spot. Better give me a good nickname, asshole. What? You want me to nickname someone I just met? Shauna, you shouldn't put me, you shouldn't put people on the spot like this. Well, how about something uh, low key? Maybe something like Big D? Oh, crud. <laughs> Highly inappropriate right now, guys. Highly inappropriate. Why does my name start with a D? Why don't you decide uh, what we should call you? Well, I would have an ego trip if I would. You know, where to call myself D Meister or Big D. I would not tolerate you guys calling me Lil D on the on the comment section. Fuck that! So we're gonna make it appropriate. I'm gonna call myself something else. You guys already well for those who have been with me since the Japanese X version uh, <laughs> playthrough and all that stuff, including the, uh, the 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 last Y Walker that I had. You guys already know what my nickname is going to be. So here it is, guys. You guys shall be calling me. The Sensei. That's right, Sensei. Why? Because I'm freaking awesome. I'm gonna be better than all you guys. Uh, come well, once the game ends and all that stuff. You want us to call you Sensei? Yes. Okay, Sensei fits you perfectly. I'm sure we're gonna be a great friend, so I'll call you that too. Hey, can we see Pokemon? The Pokemon now? I want to meet my new partner soon. I know, right? It was such a cool feeling when Trevs and I met our Pokemon. Hope you feel the same way we did. Oh, well, here it is, guys. The new Pokemon. Look at that. So, for Kalos starters, we got Finnegan, the fire-type fox Pokemon. And then we got Chespin, the little, uh, what would you call it, the little squirrel? Is it a squirrel? Chestnut? Chespin? I don't even know. The, the, he's the grass-type Pokemon that eventually evolves into a fire or grass and fighting type. Chespin, of course, uh, Fennekin, of course, fire and psychic. And then you got Froakie, the frog Pokemon, which of course will evolve into a water slash dark type Pokemon. So each one of these starters eventually evolves into each other, each other's like, you know, kryptonite and all that stuff. Now, if you guys haven't watched my Liquid Crystal walkthrough or any kind of like, uh, any kind of Pokemon game that I've uh, recently played during this whole pandemic and all that stuff, you guys may know that in this walkthrough right here, I am choosing the starter, me. Moi, the birthday boy. Why? Well, because I let you guys already choose a few Pokemon in the last few walkthroughs and all that stuff. That, and I gave you Liquid Crystal, which was 
frustratingly long. That ain't even a word, but I'm saying it now. And so, I got a team prepared for this one. I know you guys are probably going to see some of the usual Pokemon on here, but I don't care. This is going to be a tribute of six generations before we go into generation seven and then eventually eight and then hopefully you know, we're not too late for nine. Whatever comes out. So, here we go guys. The starter Pokemon for good old Draven is... Oh, hey, guess what? We're going to choose Froakie. That's right guys. We're going to be choosing the water type Pokemon, Froakie, because he's going to be freaking awesome at the end. So there it is, Froakie. And I already got a nickname for him. Pretty cool nickname. Alright, so let's give this guy a cool nickname. Since it will become a ninja slash, ninja slash frog, what better way than to call him after a famous ninja? I'm not mistaken, I don't even know. So here it is, guys. I bequeath to you, Kakashi Hitake. Can't, you know. You know, we can't we can't put the full, full nickname right there, but it is what it is. Now, I'm going to look at my phone and see if I spelled this correctly. If I didn't, then I know some of you guys are just going to be like going ape shit crazy on me. So, hold on just a sec. Go on to Bing. I'm looking at my phone. Kakashi Hitake. Yeah, I spelled it correctly. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. I bequeath to you, Froki Kakashi. Alrighty, so you've decided on the name Kakashi. That's right. Okay, my partner, my partner is Fennekin. Wow, we go together great. The two of us are just way too cute. Is she always singing? I kind of feel like she's always singing. Nice to meet you, Chespin. I'm Serena. Because of you, I can be a real Pokemon trainer. Thank you. Uh, pardon me, but I have something for you from the professor as well. I have something that will help you understand Pokemon on such a deeper level. And look at that, guys. We got ourselves a Pokedex. Uh, you see, the Pokedex I just gave you is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. The reason you get one is because the professor wants us to go on a journey with our Pokemon and complete the Pokedex. To put it in another way, it's an important mission from the professor. I'm sure of it. Oh, damn. Oh, lighten up, Travis. You're way too serious sometimes. Um, Sensei, please take this with you, too. It's a letter from the professor. He said you should give it to your mama. The hell is you? The hell does Professor Sycamore want with my mama? Well, I gotta talk to that guy. I really do. All right, we're done with our errand. To, for, the, for the professor, I guess Travis and I will go look for Pokemon. Let's go, Trev! Alrighty, so the Power Rangers are leaving right here. Alrighty. In Kalos, kids are chosen to carry Pokedex and go on an adventure. But uh, you need to give that letter to your mom before you go. Huh. Okay. Alrighty. So, that is that. I'm gonna, let's see, check my new Pokemon, which is Kakashi Hatake right here. Look at this. Stub Muffins. Water-type Pokemon has Tor as his ability, and as you guys can probably see, uh, he's, he's, he's pretty balanced. Very, very balanced. Uh, what is his nature? Let's see. The nature is a quiet nature, so it's going to be good. Now, as you can see, uh, we are currently recording this on July 6th, but this will be coming out on July 10th, so I'm going to just, you know, play it off as if, you know, it was my birthday and all that stuff. Can't wait. Uh, what is taking plenty of siestas? Oh, this guy likes to relax. Okay. I see you, Kakashi. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at our, uh, let's see, our Pokedex information right here. Look at that. Stud Muffins. Mmm. Mmm-mm. That's one side, and that's the other. And another thing, too, guys, I, I hope you guys like my, um, my background. For those who have been with me since, you know, a long, long time ago, this background plus the thumbnail probably reminds you of when I first started out in Pokemon X and Y. It's kind of like a tribute. Again, like I said, Redemption Tour, 2.0 and all that stuff. And, let's see, what else? Is there anything else? Nope, that's not the, 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 oh wait, hold on, just a second. Options, we gotta speed it up a little because sometimes I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk to people and all that stuff. Run, hold on. God dang it! I messed up. Okay, so, back to phase, okay, and 
Yes, I would like to maybe. Okay, so I made the changes. I, sh I probably should listen to that right there. Okay, so we're gonna be walking away peacefully and awesomely. And oh good, we're gonna get attacked right here. Sensei, wait. Huh? You're gonna be my opponent in my Pokemon battling debut. Okay, little Finnegan, it's our first battle. Let's win it with style. Uh, you know you're facing. Oh crud. Okay, so <laughs> here it is, guys. Our very first Pokemon battle in the Kalos region happens to be against our friend Shauna, and she's coming out with her Finnegan. Here I am coming with this stud muffin of a man, Kakashi Hitake. And we do have our bubble attack right here. Believe it or not, our Pokemon do have. Uh, it's in Kalos they do have their elemental attacks. And God dang it, we got burnt! Right off the bat, we get burnt. Ah, crud. Okay, so what are the odds right there? Alright, here we go. Bubble attack again, and here comes that... Oh, God. Flamethrower. We're not, not flamethrower, but ember attack. Here we go. Bubble attack. Yeah, she didn't know that we were, she was facing against the... The, uh, Johto... Or the Kanto Johto Hoenn Sinnoh... Uh... Uh, uh, yeah, you know her champ? <laughs> oh god. And look at that. We defeated her. Hey, I wasn't done watching my cute little Finnegan yet. And I'm throwing out the guess. Like, yeah, you shouldn't have messed with me. You shouldn't have done it. You're amazing, Dr uh, Sensei. Here, let me fix up your Pokemon. Thank you. So, or say hi to your mom for me. Okay. Alright, okay, so... We're gonna go back straight to Vanneville City or town or whatever we are. Whatever town we're. Oh, yeah, Vanneville Town. And we're gonna show our mom our new Pokemon right here. And well, I guess that will be the very first episode. Remember, guys, I'm uploading five episodes on 10th, and, which is, well, kinda today. I'm gonna speak like I am. And then the last five on the 11th. And here's our mama, and she's like, So, what did, the, what did uh, you and the neighborhood, uh, neighborhood kids end up doing? Wait a second, Draven. Is that a Pokeball all you have there? Yup. You got your very own Pokemon? Lucky you. How about that? You're a Pokemon trainer now, too. Congratulations. Huh? A letter from me? It says it's from somebody named Sycamore. What could it be? A love letter? I'm gonna go kick his ass. I really am. Don't be hitting on my mama. Oh, I, I misread on that. Hmm. What do we have here? A request. Oh, I see. Draven. We barely unpacked and all kinds of exciting things are happening. Okay, let's get you and Froakie ready for your journey. Where are you going, Mom? What the hell are you doing? Maybe there's a secret place and... Here you are, Draven! I even packed a change of clothes. What? My what? Wait, 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 what the hell? My what? What an unexpected turn of events. Just like a sudden last burst of speed from a racer in a Rifhorn race. You made friends, you made your, or you met your Pokemon, and now you get to take a lap around Kalos. Oh, and don't forget this. We got ourselves the town map, which uh, we'll kind of use. You know how to use the town map, right? Yeet the crud. <laughs> it always starts at no. Press X, yada, 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 don't need to tell you, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever, and okay. So normally we end our episode right here, but I gotta, I kind of want to get the tutorials out of the way. So, before we before we finish this whole thing, we're going to get a tutorial done. And of course, Rhyhorn here is like, rah! And Mama's like, ha ha ha, what a card! I guess Rhyhorn just wanted to give you a big send-off before your journey. Well, it has known you since you were born after all. Good luck, Draven. Go for broke, and don't worry. You don't have Pokemon by your side, so you'll be fine. Hmm. Mama really believes in us. What about our dad? Got a lot of daddy issues, huh? A lot of these Pokemon trainers have a lot of daddy issues. Except for the Hoenn ones. Uh, at least they know who their dad is. <laughs> okay, so here we are in Aqua Court Town, and first things first, I, there's something that I always like to do, and that is buy some items, even though we do have, we're, we are going to get some Pokeballs eventually. So, talk to this guy, we're going to get some potions, and let's go for 10 potions right here. Oh, crud. Okay. And eventually we're going to get some more, uh, we're, we're going to get some Pokeballs right here. But the reason why I'm getting 10 potions right now is because we're going to be going through a lot in the next episode. Which will be in the 
forest of some sort right here. Now, this guy right here sells Pokeballs. So, let's go right ahead and buy ourselves two Pokeballs just for this reason right there, okay? And that is that right there. So, let's go straight forward to the next area. And before we leave anything, this guy's like, Hey, Pokemon Trainer! If you set foot in tall grass, a wall Pokemon will pop up. But you'll be fine because your Pokemon partner will battle for you. That is true. That is so very true. And look at this. Look at the graphics on this little bastard right here. Look at that. You know, when I first played this game, I was, you know, I was kind of intimidated like many of you guys. And then, yeah, <laughs> got used to it real quickly. Now, here we are in Route 2. And before we do anything, we get attacked. Same spot. By a Pidgey. Alrighty. Pidgey, you're about to be my first catch right here now. Something pretty cool that you guys probably already know. It's been, you know, a few years since this game came out. But in this game right here, going on forward, capturing a Pokemon actually gives you experience points too, giving it a good reason for you to capture Pokemon in every single game. And there we go. And... BAM! Got ourselves a Pidgey. Alrighty. And, well... Look at that, guys. First Pokemon in the books, and that is Pidgey right here. It is both the normal and flying type Pokemon. Tiny bird Pokemon. It come in sight in forests and woods. It flaps its wings at a ground level to kick up blinding sand. And, actually, I already have a nickname for this Pokemon right here. It's a common name that I give to every single Pidgey right there. I'm gonna give it Hurricane. Alrighty. Alrighty, and... Bam! Hurricane is mine. Okay. So, we're gonna get the, to the tutorial out of the way. That way we can continue on with our adventure. Not worry about anything. So, here we have both the girlfriends. Oh, hi, Sensei! Come learn to catch Pokemon with me? Serena's mom and dad are amazing trainers. That's why she knows so much about catching Pokemon and battling. Well, my mom and dad are maybe good, but that's nothing to do. Ha that has nothing to do with me. Okay, watch carefully, you two. I did just capture a Pokemon back there. I, I already know how to capture Pokemon. Okay, so look at that. It's a Benelby. Benelby, and she's got herself a fledgling right there. She's already caught herself a fledgling. Okay, alrighty. And well. See, she's teaching us how to capture Pokemon. That's awesome. And, well, I don't think, I don't think there's anything else that we can do right now. I'm just watching. Yeah. Go ahead, throw that Pokeball. I just did that. You know, I did capture a Pidgey. I literally captured a Pidgey. She's got 50 Pokeballs. How in the hell did you get 50 Pokeballs? I don't know. Okay, so look at that. Bam, bam, and bam. She's got herself. Hey, uh, Bunnelby right here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Okay, so it's not like we didn't know how to capture Pokemon right here. And, well, Shauna's is like, wow, the Pokemon went inside the Pokeball. Shauna, what do you think your Fennekin is inside right now? Here, I'll share some Pokeballs with the two of you. And look at that. We get ourselves some more Pokeballs. And... Well, Pokeballs, do you think I can catch Pokemon with them too? Sure, you can catch Pokemon around here just by throwing a Pokeball near them. Okay, if I find a cute Pokemon, I'll throw lots of Pokeballs at it and then we will become friends. When you catch a wild Pokemon, it makes your Pokemon stronger too. Good luck. Okay, so that was the end of the very first episode right there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, just needed to get the tutorials and introductions out of the way and all that stuff. But four more episodes today, July 10th, will be coming out. So please enjoy the very start of this new walk right here. And hopefully, yeah, you guys yeah, like it, comment, subscribe, you know, that kind of stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.